Hey everyone, John from RC Departure. Today I'm bringing you a look at the new Blade Nano QX quadcopter. This is the latest quadcopter released from Blade. Comes in ready to fly and bind and fly versions. This is the ready to fly version, which includes the quadcopter, transmitter, a single battery, and the USB charger. It retails for $90. This is a really is a nano quadcopter. It weighs 18 grams and also has the new safe technology, sensor assisted flight envelope. We'll talk about that after we open up the box, which we'll go ahead and do right now. Okay, so here's everything that comes in the box. You have the quadcopter, which really is quite small. Very light, has the little plastic prop guards. There's the bottom, battery slides right in there. And that's about it with that. You have the transmitter, four AA batteries, which I've already put in, USB charger, and the 150 milliamp single cell lithium battery. You also get the instructions and a few little extras, a green canopy. If you prefer green, you can do that. And some extra props. You can match the props to the canopy. So I'm going to go ahead and bind the model and talk a little bit more about the safe technology. Okay, I'm ready to go ahead and bind the model. I've got the battery charged up. Four AA's are in the transmitter. Before I do that, I'm going to just turn on the transmitter. And this is just to make sure all the trims are at neutral. That long beep indicates neutral trim, so that's all good. Turn it off. Throttle stick down at the low position. Plug in the battery. And we get a flashing red light means it's initializing. That turns to a flashing blue light, bind mode. Push down the left stick, turn on the transmitter. Okay, solid blue light, the model is now bound. Solid red light in the transmitter, I'll talk about that in a moment. Should have power. Yep, ready to go. So the next time I wanna fly the model, and I'll just unplug it, turn it off. The one thing you wanna make sure is that it's on a level surface so that the safe technology activates normally. So you would turn on the transmitter, of course, first. Plug in the model. Flashing red light means it's initializing and it should turn to a solid blue light. There you go, ready to go. You don't wanna pick up the model and twist it or turn it while it is initializing because that will interfere with the safe technology. So what is safe technology? Sensor assisted flight envelope. Basically you have multi-axis sensors within the quadcopter that allow it to know its relation to the horizon. So it knows basically what level flight is as long as it's on a level surface when it's armed. That means when you are in stability mode, solid blue light, you can let off of the right stick if you get into a little bit of trouble and the model will self-correct. That is the main advantage of it. So initially when you turn on the model, you're gonna have the solid blue light, which means you're in stability mode. And you're gonna have a solid red light on the transmitter, which means you're actually in high rates. So if you want to switch to a more aerobatic flight envelope, you will just push down on the left stick and now you are in agility mode. You've turned down the safe technology, the model is now more aerobatic and maneuverable, and you are in high rates on the transmitter. If you want to have the uh, easiest to fly quadcopter, you wanna definitely be in stability mode, and you wanna be actually on low rates here. So to switch the rates on the transmitter, you push on the right stick. So I pushed on the right stick, I have a flashing red light, which means I'm now in low rates. So this is the easiest to fly setup, stability mode, low rates. And this is how I'm gonna start flying it. So when you turn on the transmitter, you will and plug in the battery, you will be in stability mode. You can push on the right stick and get it into low rates and you are ready to go with the uh, most easy to fly setup for the quadcopter. And once you get comfortable and you wanna have a more aerobatic flight envelope. You can be solid red, solid red, and now you'll be in the most aerobatic mode. So that's pretty much the simple sum up of how that works. 
once you uh, bind the model and, and hover it, you'll want to trim it out a little bit usually. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and switch it back to how I want. And go get some uh, flights on this quadcopter. Thanks for watching.